So in the summer of 2007, um, I started excessively dieting and um, exercising to lose weight. I was always kind of a chubbier kid than most, or at least that's how I viewed myself. So I wanted to lose weight. It started out healthy, um, and then throughout the winter and into spring of 2008, I uh, lost an excessive amount of weight. I was 88 pounds in May. My parents were concerned. So we went to the doctors and acknowledged that, yeah, I think I, I had an eating disorder. I felt guilty. I felt like I couldn't have something wrong with me because I was a perfect Christian kid that couldn't have issues. And I thought that would never be something I'd struggle with. When I started going to treatment, they told me that I needed to decide to get better for myself, not for anybody else. There were girls that had been in the program for years, and I remember that my first week there, I was like, I don't want to have to be in this program for more than is necessary. And I remember searching the scriptures, trying to find Bible verses that had to do with, you know, how to do with how to overcome this. And uh, I remember the Lord showing me a verse in Proverbs that, that says, uh, there's a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. I had to decide right then, was I gonna let this eating disorder kill me or was I gonna choose life and choose living for the Lord? So I decided then that I wasn't gonna let this rule my life anymore. Throughout the treatment that summer, a lot of people at the church were praying for me and I had really good youth group leaders and friends that were surrounding me with encouragement through that time and I just remember totally feeling the Lord show me how much community means to me and how much community was important in my recovery. I remember just being so filled with the Holy Spirit and just able to speak up in like the therapy sessions about you know my relationship with the Lord and the church and the people that I had around me. By the end of that summer they asked me you know how I'd recovered so fast I had gained you know enough weight to, to graduate the program and I told them I said you know Jesus it's all Jesus in me he gave me the strength to, to get through this. So I don't think that I've ever, you don't ever fully recover from having an eating disorder. It's always going to be something that I struggle with, but the Lord just showed me that, you know, He's forgiven me and I, can, I need to forgive myself too.